his prayer in Yerushalayim's most dire hour, Kiskiyahu reveals himself to be a true Ebed Hashem, servant of God. He prays not for the sake of his own honor, nor even his country, or his people whose fate is bound up with his own, but for Hashem's glory in front of the world at large. Yeshayahu 37, 16 through 20. Adonai, Zavaot, Elohe, Yisrael, Yoshav, Hachi, Urbim, Atahu, Elohim, Levadeka, Lakol, Mamlikot, Amaret, Ata, Asi, Taeha, Shemaim, Ve, Ed, Haaret, Ate, Adonai, Azineka, Ushima, Pek, Adonai, Neka Urie, Ushima et Kol Divre, Sankiri el Ashir, Shakali Kari, Elohim Kayayil. Aminam Adonai Hekiri, Hu Malka Ashur el Kur, Haara Zavot, Le et Ad Hazam. Venaton et Elohim, Baish Kilo Elohim, Himang Kiim Maashe, Yida Adam, Ad Ava I Vin Ava Yi A Ve Duni. Ve Ata Arana Elohenu, Oshi Anu Miyado Viyadi, O Kol Malikot. O Lord of hosts, enthroned on the Kabarim, you alone are God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You made the heavens and the earth. Hashem, incline your ear and hear, open your eye and see, hear all the words that Sennacherib has said to blaspheme the living Hashem. True Hashem, the kings of Assyria have annihilated all the nations and their lands. But now Hashem our God, deliver us from his hands and let all the kingdoms of the earth know that you, Hashem, alone are Hashem. Hashem Yeshua, Adonai, hear our cry, today, O the land of Israel, you, Hashem, our God, deliver them from the hands of their enemies. You alone are